Hello students in Comp 3077 online with Excel 2013. Welcome back to the virtual classroom. I'm saying welcome back because I'm assuming if you are watching our very first lecture video, part one of two, that you have gone ahead and viewed the welcome to the virtual classroom video, the very first required video in the virtual classroom YouTube playlist. You need to watch this to ensure that you've done the right administrative things and gone and reviewed the proper files in Fanch Online so that you know and understand how this course is going to work. Good, so assuming you've done that, let's get started with our very first lecture here. Unlike most of the lectures we'll be conducting in this course that will simply involve the demonstration of a case project that you will then go and complete on your own, this one has the course introduction and a few other administrative things involved. So it is a required video. We're going to cover the course introduction. We're going to go and review the readiness checkup to make sure you are good to go and can start using this Microsoft application even if you haven't used it before in the sense that you can and are comfortable using computers in general, file management, that type of stuff. And then we're going to introduce the application of Excel and I will walk you through where to go to take the first quiz which is going to be due at the end of the week. The due dates, which I will always try not to mention in these videos because these videos will be used across different semesters, they will always be indicated in FOL. It's important you guys remember that. I probably should have put that in that file, but that's okay. Due dates are always indicated in FOL and not within the videos. So I've said that. I also mentioned it in my welcome to the virtual classroom video anyway. So let's jump over to FOL and get into the course a little bit. This video shouldn't be longer than 10 minutes. Um, I'm not going to read the CIS to you if you're in the online sections. I expect you to review this on your own. So I'm just going to go and make sure you've done the things you needed to do, you know what's going on, and then we'll get into the readiness checkup and the intro to Excel. So here I have our course site up. Uh, depending on the semester, dates things may look a little bit different they may change slightly but this is approximately what your course homepage should look like this is a good place to go if you want to know what's going on in the course i will usually post upcoming dates and should your other professors whoever's going to be teaching you it may not be me the narrator of these online videos uh, but most of your upcoming dates and important news will be posted there you should always have a link to the virtual classroom here which is how you got in to watch this video that you're watching right now Upcoming dates or due dates should be here. There's your quiz due. Uh, this is 2014 now, um, going into the end of 2014. You may be watching this video a year or two later. This is a brand new course update right now as I'm recording this. So uh, from here, I'm gonna jump over to content because in content is where the course information sheet is. And this is usually the first thing most students will look at when they start a course. And I'm gonna get into uh, there as well. So in the course information sheet, you have the description for the course. I will assume at this point that you have reviewed this per the instructions in the Welcome to the Virtual Classroom video. Uh, you can scroll through a little bit past the outcomes and you'll see that uh, I make a pretty big deal about the Comp 3077 assignments in the sense that, especially because I, I record everything in videos and post them online, they still need to be submitted by the proper due date. And you can see here I'm making the note that you have the potential to earn 5% of your final grade in most weeks of this term, starting in week one, the very first week of the semester. So you do have a case and a quiz to complete this week. Uh, these are the things we'll cover quickly in this lecture, and then we'll get to the quiz, and then you'll have another lecture video that will be part two of two for week one that will show you how to set up your SAM account and then complete the first case. And then following this week, most of the weeks, unless they involve tricky concepts and I add some supplemental videos, we'll simply have one lecture video that shows the case demonstration for that week. The quizzes every week you are expected to complete on your own because uh, this week I'll walk you through what's going to be on the quiz and then you'll go ahead and take it. And then every week after that, the answers to the quiz can actually be found in the training that's also available on SAM. So we don't review the quizzes and lecture. Those are for you to go ahead and do online and um, kind of enhance your skills. It's just a little bit of a different way to apply what you've learned in the lecture. So those will be done each, each week too when you have a case and that means that weeks one through five you have a case and a quiz every week. It's just this week you have an FOL quiz instead of a SAM quiz. Then you have a test in week six then week 7 through 12, you have a case and a quiz every week. And then in week 13, you have the opportunity to make up one case. There are more details on that in FOL. 
in this section on makeup week and and you'll you'll get more information on that as we approach uh, week 13 and get closer then your final test is in week 14 you will not have anything during exam week scheduled in this course so that's the course in a nutshell you were to have already reviewed your CIS let's move on to this area I'm going to assume if you are watching this first lecture video you have taken the time to go through these items so your your best bet is to go and use which should be present in any online course that you're taking at the college now we like to use these checklists and if you go to the checklist here and this should be pretty similar from term to term you should have a week one checklist and then the weekly assignments checklist so in the week one checklist these are the things I will have expected you to do on your own online prior to getting into the first lecture and starting to work in the course as I explained in the welcome to the uh, welcome to the virtual classroom video so without getting too into these because I'm only going to go back to this one and talk about it if you're a little lost and you're not sure where I'm going and how the course works it's probably because you haven't reviewed this stuff yet okay so go back and do that additionally we have the weekly assignments starting in week one and the way these are broken down you can see that everything is categorized so with weekly assignments and evaluations I just did a quick fix there it's kinda nice when you're recording with screen capture software that you can pause I noticed that I'd, I'd added that word and it hadn't saved so that's in there now so it's weekly assignments and evaluations starting in week one and the other checklist is the week one course orientation so this one goes and takes you through the entire rest of the term you do have the opportunity to earn some extra credit. I will mention that now, and that will be it. If you guys forget to do it, that's that's how the cookie crumbles. I'm, I hate that saying. I should. I'm not redoing this video because I made a stupid saying. Let's, uh, that's just uh, that's life. <laughs> if you didn't catch it and you forgot to do it, you can earn an additional one percent over and above uh, your potential hundred percent of a final mark by taking a photograph of your SAM key code and uploading it to the Dropbox name Save My Key Code. The reason for this is you will not actually be required to input your key code until week three. So if you buy it and then you lose it, it's going to be really helpful if you actually took a picture of it and you still have it. So that's why I'm encouraging people to do this, and I'll give you an extra 1% on your mark if you do. Quizzes are also worth 1%. Now, I do not want you guys to shy away from stuff like this little extra credit assignment and all these quizzes. I know they're only worth 1%, but when you add all that up, that could be the difference between an A or an A plus or a B and an A. You don't just want to blow this stuff off for the semester. It's very easy to earn a hundred percent on every single one of these evaluations, including the extra credit one. There's not a whole lot to do, particularly these SAM quizzes, because you're given the answers via the training in the SAM platform, and that will be reviewed briefly in uh, part two of two in our week one lecture. Then you have cases every week, starting this week right off the top. We're going to be using the SAM platform, but you don't need to have your key code purchased right away. We have set up a deal with the publisher so that you all have access to the platform um, through the first few weeks of class. And then during week three, I suppose it's actually technically going to be in week four. I'm just telling people week three. You gotta, you got to stay on top of this, guys at the very beginning of week four, which is why I'm saying you're gonna need it by week three, you're gonna to have to input your key code. And if you don't have your key code purchased by the very beginning of week four, you are not gonna be able to continue completing work in this course. And without paying for this resource, which is access to the SAM platform, you can't do any of these quizzes, you can't do any of these cases, you can't do these two tests down here, okay? So I I know in the past there, there have been legislations and rules about uh, colleges and universities not requiring students to purchase resources for uh, for the purpose of evaluations uh, those legislations are, are are no longer in place and I feel terrible for students that can't afford it but for mo in most cases if you're here at school there should have been a budget built in for you to buy textbooks and resources if you're already here at school and there's money for that there's got to be an extra little bit of cash to buy salmon it's the only way to get the marks in this course okay so that's it is what it is and using this checklist you can see how many different evaluations we actually have okay so the breakdown of these if we jump back over to the CIS and content very quickly um, is pretty simple okay so if we look in the course information sheet and go down 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 to here you have 11 quizzes they're worth 1% each that's including the one FOL quiz and 10 SAM quizzes you have 11 cases worth 4% each and technically 
because I demonstrate the completion in its entirety of every case we have in this course in video format, I'm also giving you the answers to those. Plus, you have the opportunity to submit those twice in case you make mistakes. You can go back and fix it, save the file, and resubmit again to the SAM platform. So, I mean, in a sense, you really don't have a whole lot of excuses to not automatically earn this 55% of your final mark. I mean, you're getting the answers. So without even taking these two tests, you should be able to pass this course. But my goal with the way I've set this up and the way I teach it is for all of you to learn a lot of new stuff about an application that you may or may not have used before and get an A in the process. I know grades are important to you guys. So what we do in these cases is very representative of what is on these tests. The difference is that I do not demonstrate the tests. That's where you have to stand alone. That's where you have to demonstrate to me what you can do all by yourself, no help from the prof, no videos to get you through it. How does it go with just no questions, no re well, you actually have resources. The tests are open book, open resource. You just can't ask any questions. Uh, so we'll get more into that when we get closer to the tests. Um, actually, if you're in the online section, I'm not gonna talk to you about the tests much. You're just, you need to know that you can only take these tests on campus. So even if you're in the online section, um, for right now, until we have online testing available, and if we do now, I will have added a little note to this video already. And if you don't see a note, we don't. You're going to have to uh, attend campus to take these two tests, okay? And you will receive information in the emails about the tests. So I guess we will be going over it a little more. And that's about all we need to discuss in the course information sheet. Uh, so where are we at here? That's the course introduction. I mean, it's a course in Excel. We have work every week. You gotta keep up. It's very easy to get an A. You just gotta follow along and keep submitting your work on time. You've been given a weekly deadline from your professor. Have the stuff in by the weekly deadline. I understand that it's very easy to just feel like you can turn it in any time because the way we have these assignments set up in SAM, unlike the FOL quiz, which does have a deadline, it just goes away. But in SAM, they never go away. They're always there. That doesn't mean you haven't missed the due date. We still allow you to submit them any time because we still want you to do it even if you miss the due date because it helps you get ready for the test. But if you don't submit it to Sam by a certain date, whatever that date is for your professor, you have a weekly deadline. Sometimes it's a little later in week one. Um, that's what my section will have this semester. You're not gonna get credit, okay? So you need to, you need to adhere to that. So this should be in this section. So all about Comp 3077 are the kind of things you're going to have gone through already before you start working. And then from that point forward, you'll just be going to the weekly assignments and, and uh, weekly content and assignments every week in FOL. And most of the time, you guys will get the hang of this. If you're, if you're going through the online section, you'll just go and watch the videos. So I want to make sure that you did go over this. It's very important that you went through this file. I'm not going to read it to you in the video. If you haven't read it yet, go through and look it over now. Spend a few minutes. Okay, good. I'm assuming you're catching on to the fact that you can pause my videos and do some of the work you need to do in the online course and then come back and keep listening to me. So what was the point of what I'm doing here? It is not our mandate in a second term course to be teaching students how to use computers. However, in the case that you do have a lot of trouble and, and you're still learning to use computers, we are here to help you. You just need to speak up and tell us. So assuming you're comfortable with that, here we come, Excel 2013, and I'm assuming you've read through this. Keyboard shortcuts are important. Let's talk about this workspace. So looking at the workspace here, I'm going to explain to you how you're going to do well on this quiz. Okay, Let's go and open up Excel together. So assuming you're on a computer that has it, you should be able to go into programs. This might look a little bit different on your Mac, and if you do have a Mac, I would recommend uh, reading that Does My Computer Work? for this course, it's uh, here, I'll show you. If we go back to the About section, uh, will your computer work for Comp 3077? If you're using a Mac and you don't have a Windows partition in it, there's gonna be, it'll still work, but there, are, there will be a few um, weekly cases where you don't have the right colors, you don't have the right themes, and you will be marked down for that. Please read this file if that's what's going on. So if, you know, Things are going to look a little different in my videos, stuff like that. So, okay, let's just jump in here and open up Excel. So here we go. Uh, I have mine saved. Well, I usually have it up here in the Start menu. I open it a lot, so it's right here. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, now that it's open, I'm just going to go and start a blank workbook. You guys should all do the same thing with me. Now, at this point, I'm going to... 
I'm going to leave you pretty soon because there's not a whole lot of benefit from me going like this with the mouse and showing you that when you sit over top of it, the undo button is revealed. It tells you what it is. I guess I'd have to type something in and enter it. So when I sit over that button, it says undo. I sit over this, it says redo. Sitting over top of this, it'll tell me what's in that menu. Or it depends on what you're sitting on, I guess. Um, that explains what that button's for. So if I sit over here, it tells me that's the formula bar. What I'm showing you here is that in in the lower part of your readiness file here, this is your quiz. This is the first question on your quiz, and then I have another question on keyboard shortcuts. Your quiz can be very, very simple if you if you know your basic sh keyboard shortcuts, and I'm going to give those to you now too. So. What you're going to do for the quiz is do a bit of research, do a bit of playing around in the workspace. I'm not just going to show it to you in this video. I think it's better if you get hands-on and do it yourself. And you're going to find out what all these things are. And then you're going to go into the FOL quiz, and you're going to be able to match these up. So there are 15 points related to this first matching, matching question. And then you're going to be quizzed on five basic keyboard shortcuts, and there's five points related to that. So there's 20 possible points in the quiz. You're going to need to name all these items in this graphic here. And, and don't forget, I'm in the readiness file right now, okay? I haven't, like, gone off and disappeared on you guys here, or gone to another place. I'm still in the readiness file. So you can use this file as kind of your guide to do well in the quiz. And then from there, I would make sure that you know the keyboard shortcuts for cut, paste, copy, undo, and save. Took me a second there to remember the last one. There's tons of keyboard shortcuts, and you can use some of the resources I list here that I've already given to you. But those are the five that I think will come in handy the most when you're using an application like Excel. So, what is Excel? As you're, you're, I'm going to send you off now to do your sheet. Excel is a spreadsheet program that allows you to input single items of data into individual little spaces and then organize and sort that in a variety of ways. That's my definition for it. I mean, some people just say it's a spreadsheet program, but the, the things you can do with Excel for presentation, uh, for analyzing customers' bills and trying to show them how much money they're going to save, there's so many different purposes for this program just across the board in terms of business. You guys are going to use this when you get out there in the real world. So I want you to take this course seriously. I want you to follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions I've given you online. I want you to go and find out what the answers to this are right now so you can get your first A by going here and going into quizzes and taking the week one quiz. Okay, so you need to take this week one quiz. The name might be slightly different. The date obviously is going to be different for you depending on what semester you're watching this video, but this quiz should be in the same place no matter what. Uh, the way this course is set up, you have one Fanshawe Online quiz during the first week. This is it. It will have a time limit. You have to have it done by the date your professor has specified there. Get it done. Get a decent mark. I've given you and led you to the answers in the readiness file, which if we jump back here, we go to content. I'm just navigating around just to make sure you're comfortable with all this stuff. I'm in the weekly content and assignments, readiness and file management review. Okay, So file management, I will only mention, if you can't rename a file on a computer, if you put a file on your machine and you have no idea how to get back to it, if you don't understand the difference between opening the file from the web versus save as, because in the labs that will open it into a temp folder and on campus in these labs if you open that file in that temp folder even if you're saving it the whole time once you close it it's very very hard to get back to it you need to pay attention to where your files are going if you don't know what I'm talking about and you need help email me come see me email your professor whoever they may be tell them you need some extra help and there are a couple videos in the virtual classroom that will assist you with this kind of uh, this kind of file activity and the kind of things we're going to need to do as part of this course. Okay, I also go over so one. Well, it's the next lecture video is actually the one with the helpful information because I go over a bit of basic file management in that video when we save our first SAM file from the platform. All right, so that covers everything we are going to cover in this lecture, and I think it was probably close to double what I thought it was going to be, but it's still fairly short. Uh, part two, um, week one lecture, part one, part two of two will involve the setup of your SAM account and the completion of your first case. So get your quiz done, do a little bit of research, get those answers, get it done, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.